So knowing you have such a passion for education reform and you touched on MOOCs, what's your vision of how MOOCs will or will not transform education? There have been a lot of prophecies about the doom of universities as we know it, and that mercifully has not come to pass. But what are your thoughts about where MOOCs are going to fit in, whether at the K through 12 level or at the, uh, the higher level? Well, education is essentially a social construct. It's not that the universities have secret knowledge that only they have available. Uh, you know, I took, <laughs> these numbers won't make any sense anymore, but the hardest freshman math class was called Math 55. Uh, <laughs> I assume it's not called that anymore. Uh, but it was, it was a group of eight, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was a group of 80 people whose personal positioning was they were the best person at math that they had ever met. So there were 79 frauds, uh, one person who really was the, the best at math. I ended up, the guy who came in first in the class is a lawyer in New York now. Uh, the guy who came in second is a professor of chaos theory at uh, Princeton. Uh, and then I came in third. Uh, so I knew, okay, math, geez, uh, that's interesting. Anyway. Uh, I didn't take Physics uh, 55, but I read the Feynman book. And so if you're motivated, seriously, you don't have to take a course. The Feynman book, if you're hardcore, just read the Feynman book, do the problems. You want to learn to do software? Read The Art of Computer Pro Programming. Good luck doing the problems. But uh, you know, anyone that's rated 30 or harder is like super hard to do.